Welcome to the sewing report. I have been using a rather small cutting mat, a 24 by 36 inch for a while. I thought I would finally upgrade, you know, go big or go home. So we're going to be unboxing this new cutting mat. I got the Dolly 36 by 48 inch cutting mat. So let's open it up. I got this off of Amazon. It was about $35 when I ordered it. Sometimes the prices fluctuate, but I'm going to link it in the description box. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my gosh, this box is really big for the item. You can probably ship and, a person uh, in that. You think so? Yeah, we should test that after okay. we... Okay, wow, this thing is really heavy. I could get a workout just from lifting it. I think it's about three millimeters thick and it is self-healing, which is great. And I really like this blue color. I think it's gonna look really fun in the craft room. And the reason I got it is so that I can pretty much cut a full yard of fabric and not have to fold it over at all. So that's sort of the purpose behind it. I thought this was a great deal because normally even cutting mats half that size are the same price. So I saw it and I decided to jump on it right away. Let's get this thing upstairs. We're going to do a first impressions and a demonstration. I'm going to use my rotary cutter, see how it cuts on different types of fabric. And you also have to see if you can fit in that box. I think it's huge. Yeah, it is really big for the item. That does seem a little freakish to me, but you know, I don't know. You want some wine? You know, I guess so. Maybe just a drink. What do, what do you think? Like some soda? Some drink? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. That'd be great. Oh, thanks. There you go. Okay. Let's see if you can fit in that box. Okay. Uh, you know, this tastes a little weird. Is this bad or something? No, it's, it's just diet. It'll be all right. Let me take that for a minute. Okay. Oh, thanks. Okay. All right, so this would be kind of funny if I could fit in here, right? Like, mm -hmm. all right. You know what? I think this is going to work. Oh, you look a little tired. Nighty-night. Now I can send you back to your mother. She can deal with you for the next eight years. And one more for good measure. You've never been ready so quick to go on a trip in your entire life, have you? Oops, sorry. Oops, sorry again. Bon voyage. Hi, I'm James, and I'm going to be taking over Sewing Report. Well, that's a terrible name. I'm going to be taking over Sew Your Trap Shut, and for the first review, I'm going to be looking at the Dolly 36 by 48 self-healing cutting mat and all of the great possibilities. I just demonstrated one by shipping my wife back to her mother, uh, and actually I didn't really put an address so I don't know where she's going to wind up, but I did take her cell phones so I don't think she's going to be able to get back home. And we're also going to see how much more we can get out of that self-healing cutting mat that does not involve sewing. So stay tuned. Test one, can it be used as a dolly mat? Can it be used for an actual dolly? Uh, yes and no. Doesn't seem to be its strength though. Test two, can it be used as a workout mat? Let's find out. Not too bad. Test three, is it easy to clean? Is it easy to clean? Let's find out. Water's a little bit cold. Well, let's take a look here. We've got some Axe Body Spray. This is a nice mild cleanser. And if you keep your clothes on, you can use it like a sponge. Now I don't have to do laundry. I wonder if I can use my foot as a loofah. Real men use loofahs. Yeah. It is easy to clean. All right, to be honest, the first three tests, they were sort of rubbish. We did find out that it is really easy to clean this self-healing mat. And Dolly, you did a great job, but it doesn't work very well as a Dolly mat for your camera or your tripod or even a desk chair. We didn't show the other couple of scenes because it was pretty bad. If you were in a pinch, you could probably get by with it, but let's get to cutting some fabric on this and get something pieced together. 
everything set up. Let's get all these cut out. Sewing is so hard. I don't know what I'm doing. This is simple. Who makes this thing? Ever sew? Pretty nice. Put the power to it and sew. Do it now! And we're sewing the Swoon Harriet bag on the Eversown Sparrow 25. It's silky smooth. That's why I'm wearing a suit. Bam! We're all done. Pretty intricate cuts were required on this bag. Turned out pretty well. Thanks for watching. Sew your trap shut with James. And till next time, keep on sewing. This is James? Yes, I did just said. What do you mean you can't have live goods inside of the box? Well, you guys accepted my money, didn't you? No, don't bring it, don't bring it. Ah. Crap. Ah, I knew it was too good to be true. Yeah, 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 I know, thank you. Sleep in there. You must have been really tired. Uh, my head is killing me. I'll make you some coffee. The cat's interested. <laughs> we can get some B roll of the cat coming over there. Okay, that sounds good. What? You don't like her being in the box? Are you jealous, Gato Cat? Huh? What are you doing, Meow Mix? She's like, there's somebody in there. She's like, oh no. <laughs> no, just, you don't drink Diet Coke, cat. I just a lot. Who's in there? You want to go with her? Hmm? Yeah. I don't think you'd like going through the through the post, Gato Cat. Yep, there's still somebody in there. Crazy cat. She's determined to figure out a way in there. All right. Before she gets too in involved in that. Ah!